Alright guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Mr. Baby and today we're here with another idea. If you guys have been on my channel, you know, long enough, you know that I love making these ideas, but it's a little different today. Instead of having just an LR idea or a card idea, we have a whole event idea. Now, this has been on my mind for a little bit, for a little while, and I really wanted to take some time into building this event out. Um, you know, the, the quirks of it, you know, the reward. Also, I do want to mention that this has been inspired to me because of the fact that the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta have been, you know, announced coming to the JP side of the game. And because of that, we can see that the Buu Saga, Dokkan is, is, is starting to, you know, recognize the Buu Saga. So today, we're looking at something called the Saga Survival Event. Now, this, I want this to be, every time we go through a saga in Dokkan, I want there to be a saga survival event where you take on the biggest boss of that saga, right? I didn't do this, you know, for the Cell Saga or, um, uh, what's it called? Planet Namek Saga or like the Frieza Saga or whatever, but I'm doing it for this one. I probably will do those later on in, you know, because those are already passed. It is what it is. Saga survival event featuring Kid Boo. Let's hop straight into the video. So... This is just a little bit of the detail, so we're gonna we're gonna have four stages in this fight, okay? The first one is Fat Boo, the second one is Evil Boo, the third stage or search fight will third fight sorry will be this will be Super Boo, and then the last fight will be Kid Boo. Now completing each stage will grant you one copy of LR Kid Boo, so yes, he is free to play, and defeating the last stage will give you the last two copies to rainbow him, okay? Now, he will be an STR unit. Yes, this unit is very strong. You'll see in just a second. So three STR Elder Kai's will be granted upon completing the first three stages. So that's nine in total. And then six Elder Kai's will be granted upon defeating the last stage. Now, he will have a max attack, uh, max super attack of 15. Now, I know a lot of you, by the, just by the look of it, won't like that, but I want to try something different you know this unit is very 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 strong especially if you beat all these events and you'll see the details in just a second so if you guys if you have this guy rainbowed he's going to be doing a lot of damage so i kind of wanted to nerf him a little bit and give him 15. i want to try something a little different hopefully you guys can respect that let's move on to the first stage first fight is fat boot now down below you can see the this enemy can only be stunned and only be sealed okay now he will have 10 million health and his attack will be 70,000 and the super attack he'll do double that which is 140,000 so this is the first fight you can um, you beat this and you get the first copy of LR Kid Boo the second fight is evil boot this enemy can only have his attack lowered that's it nothing else works against him 12 million a health his attack bumped up to 90,000 and his super attack which again is doubled 180,000. The third stage we have here is Super Boo. Now this enemy can only have his defense lowered. He has 15 million health and his attack is 120,000 and his super attack is 240,000. Now to give you guys a little bit of perspective, um, UI Goku, our master UI Goku in the Legendary Goku event has 15 million health. Um, if we go here, this is over on Reddit. We can see Legendary Goku event down here. He has 15 million HP. Now, after completing this one, you you will have gotten already three copies of LR Kid Buu and nine Kai's. Next, we have, I, I said Fat Buu, but this is Kid Buu. Last stage we'll be fighting against Kid Buu. I said everything effect works here. That's worded very weird. I meant to say, I was typing this really fast. Um, I meant to say that all the effects work here. He can be, his attack can be lowered. His defense could be lowered. He can be sealed, stunned, all that. Now he regens re, or regenerates 1 million health every turn. Okay. And you cannot evade his normal attacks. I didn't want to do super attacks. So that'll be very, you know, broken. Um, not broken. He, he'd just be very strong, right? So you cannot evade his normal attacks. Um, he has 20 million health. And his attack is 150,000 on normals. And super attack is 300,000. So you're going to want to bring a team that can stun, uh, that can seal, you know, uh, all that stuff. Because Kid Boo here 
is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, let's get to LR Kid Boo. Oof, okay, he's going to be Extreme STR. His leader skill is Majin Buu Saga and Transformation Boost categories Key plus 4, HP attack, and defense plus 150%. His 12 and 18 key simply uh, they causes colossal damage to enemy and mega colossal damage to enemy. Very simple, I didn't want to add anything to that. Um, his passive skill, his defense plus 200%. Now, I know you're thinking, well, it's broken, he's not taking any damage. Just, just hear me out, okay? Key plus two, and attack and defense plus 20% to all extreme allies. So, he is a little bit of a support. Now, this unit is built differently because, unlike any other passive that I've seen in the game, this Kid Boo gets stronger with the more, um, he gets stronger and weaker with the more dupes you have in him. Let me explain. As you can see, one dupe, he gets 10% attack with each attack received, up to 50%. And minus 10% defense with each attack received up to 50%. So he will be getting 50% attack and he will be losing 50% defense. So now this number is at a 150,000, which is still a lot. Right? He's still getting that boost from this leader scale. But now his, his attack went up um, by 50%. If you have two dupes in this kid boo, you'll have this plus 10% attack with each normal attack. Okay, I didn't mean to put normal there. So just with each attack performed up to 50% and minus 10% defense defense with each attack performed up to 50%. So forget the normals here. I didn't mean to put normal there. Just re read it as uh, just skip over that. So if you have two dupes in him, um, he will get it. He'll be getting 10, 50% attack um, for each attack received and another 50% attack for each attack performed. Okay. So that's a hundred percent attack just with two dupes in him. So it's going to be building up, right? And now his defense is down to 100% because um, every time you perform an attack, you'll be losing 10% defense as well. So as you can see, the, the reason why I built him like this, right, is because in the in, in the Buu Saga, right, when they're fighting, Kid Buu is just a monster. He's playing with Goku literally the whole time. And it's almost like, you know, he's get not that he's getting stronger, but he's taking it more serious, right? And you guys know that when I make these cards, I like to make them, you know, pretty realistic to how they are in the anime. So... It is what it is, right? Shout out to Nanogenics. Um, so if you have three dupes in this guy, 10% attack with each 18 key super performed, up to 50%, and minus 10% defense with each 12 key super performed, up to 50%. So, you need to prioritize getting that 18 key, because if you don't, you will be losing defense. So this one is a little, this is, it's not that this one's optional, but you can actually control Kind of, right? Because um, you really can't control or placement and stuff. But um, this is, you know, you have so much more, a little more control of, you know, what goes on here. So if you prioritize getting that 18 key super, you can build up your defense, uh, I mean, your attack up to another 50%. But if you don't, you'll be losing another 50% defense. So let's say all of this has already been activated. Kid Boo will have 150% attack buff and only a 50% defensive buff, okay? Now, he's maxed out, okay? He's maxed out. Now, don't worry, he's not losing any more defense here. Instead, if he's maxed out, um, he will get everything here, plus 50% attack at the start of turn, plus 5% attack per Majin Buu Saga category ally on the team, reduces damage by 30% from Goku's family um, category enemies. That is it, guys. That is my LR Kid Buu idea. I didn't want to, you know, give it get to a point where he has like no defense left. Left. Um, I didn't want to do that, but you know, this is my idea. I honestly would love to see something free to play friendly, right? That, uh, well, you know, I say free to play friendly, and I understand that a lot of people may say, you know, um, taking up taking down this event may be really hard. So I, I, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna steer clear of the free to play aspect i know i said it earlier in the video forget i said free to play I, there's a lot of, it, it brings a lot of controversy um, to the community so I'm, I'm just gonna bring this out there as a non-summonable lr coming to the game i don't want to label this free to play non-summonable lr uh, kid boo hopefully you know we get something like this and it'll be really cool where the more dupes you have in a unit the stronger they get now i really wanted to prioritize 
strength with this so you're supposed to beat that event you're supposed to take down all those events like someone like the truth which if you're watching this shout out to you um you're definitely gonna be able to max this guy out right now you're going to have instantly all right I, I just like the fact that he's building up so this is this is my idea if you guys enjoyed today's video hit that like button if you want to see more ideas like this and just other dragon ball content go down there hit that subscribe button as well and i will see you guys in the next video. Peace.